to gain a client, you got to know the pain the client has. No pain, no gain. What do I mean by that? Do you really, really understand what are your client's top pain areas? The reason I'm saying is that you're phone call and you're trying to kind of address or talk to a client or in any medium that you're trying to reach out. Uh, if you're able to speak the language of pain and a resolution for that pain, the client is able to be in your pocket. But the idea is most clients, when we make a regular call saying this is who I am, this is what I do, the clients don't connect. More often than not, the client does not even know what his own pain is. The point is, if you know the pain, if you can explicitly tell him, you know what client, and you call up saying, hey, I know what, uh, you know, I'm so and so, but I realize that most whatever XYZ profession that we work with have these top five pain areas and we have been successfully able to help people solve these top five pain areas. Do you have any of these top five or ten pains? If the client says yes, of course I do and I need help. You've got somebody really willing to talk to you. If the client says no, but I have no none of these pains, then you can even ask, do you have any other pains that could be really there? that you really have you're facing challenges with. If he says he has no pains, there is nothing to go. But the point is, the moment you're able to give the first five or ten pains, you're going to get somebody in because they're going to start connecting with, they connect with their pain. They don't connect with what you do. Once you connect with their pain, then the connection is made saying, you know what, solution available hai in ke paas. So focus your time really building the pain list. So build your top pain list. It's a painful job, but you got to know what are the top pains that every single segment in your client base currently has. Thank you.